Alright guys, so today we're just going to continue on with our series. Uh, we have the 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max today. Uh, so we're just going to kind of get into that. Uh, we have here 11 Pro Max. Up here is the top of the battery and the uh, angle. You can see this is the top FTC. On this uh, model we have two uh, flex FTCs. One at the top, one at the bottom. The one at the bottom is one that we're going to be worried about. This is where we'll plug in the tag on. The one at the top goes to the logic board. So we'll just fold this straight up as normal, uh, just like we did before. We're just going to continue to fold it back all the way against itself. So just wrap it back around uh, the original flex. And then that's just going to prep it uh, for the tag-on install. Um, so now that we have our tag-on and the flex uh, prepped and kind of bent in the right orientation, uh, we'll go ahead and slip this behind uh, the OEM flex. Uh, and then we'll just align the two FTC connections here, male and female. So it's going to connect to the connector on the actual board. Um, so we'll just get them aligned up and push it in. Once it clicks in, then the tab on the actual tag-on will fold back over and it'll be in the orientation that the original FTC was in. So it'll be ready to connect into the subboard at the bottom of the device. So that's basically the proper orientation and install uh, for the tag-on on the 11 Pro series. Uh, so you can see here that the original flex is just bent straight back around itself. Tag-on is behind the flex and it just plugs straight in. So I'm just going to disconnect uh, again to show you guys what that looks like and how that works. So just a little bit of pressure, we'll disconnect that and then we just push that back in and that reconnects it. And that's all you have to do for tag-on install. Appreciate your time on this. We're just going to get into the actual BMS transfer now. Thank you guys. So we'll start the unwrapping now. Uh, we're just at the edge of the cell here is where I like to start. I'm just using my tweezers to kind of get a starting point. Uh, so I'm just going to take this adhesive and start peeling it off. Uh, so I'll just pick at the edge and just get it started to peel up from the actual flex here and then you'll start to see the actual plastic protection board be exposed. So now that I got a starting point I'll just begin to peel this off. So excuse this little satisfying moment as I slowly peel this adhesive off this BMS. Once you get the first layer of adhesive removed <coughs> you can begin to then remove the plastic cover. So we'll just peel this all the way off and flip the battery over and you'll see the second layer of adhesive begin to come up just a little bit and expose those leads um, but we're just pulling up this first adhesive. It really doesn't matter, I'm just going through the processes layer by layer. So once that's removed then we can remove the plastic cover as I mentioned. So I'll just lift up on it, a little bit of uh, tension there. We'll release that at, uh, adhesive glue that's kind of in a couple of key points here up under the plastic cover. So once it's removed, uh, just set it aside. You can throw it away. We provide replacements in the XCAP BMS packaging. So the second layer of adhesive here, this is the back of the battery. I'm just peeling it back off, exposing these leads. Once we get it peeled off from the back, that's when we can kind of flip the battery over. I'll show you a technique to begin to unfold the BMS and remove this adhesive in one quick motion. Uh, so just peel it all the way off, uh, edge to edge. Once it's removed, then you can flip the battery back over. And then I'll show you what I mean by pulling this adhesive straight out. So the BMS is wrapped up and folded over uh, with this adhesive tape. So if you pull straight out, then you'll see it release. It's glued down again with the same glue the plastic protective cover is uh, adhered with. So just uh, some tension here, pull straight out, and then you'll unfold the BMS and begin to remove this adhesive. So peel it off the back of the BMS once you get it unfolded, and then that will completely remove the second layered adhesive. So then that's when you're ready to begin to sever the BMS from the actual cell. So I'll turn the light down here so we can see. This is our laser welds from uh, the OEM uh, securing the cell to the BMS. So you can see four laser welds on each lead. So we'll begin to uh, sever the BMS here uh, just to show you uh, some differences between the 11 and 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. There's no tab or, uh, folded over on the pad. There's just a pad here 
and then the leads are spot welded uh, or laser welded directly uh, to the BMS. So there's no tab to unfold or anything. So we'll use our ceramic scissors as always, reaching in between the cell and the BMS and then just clipping it. So a quick clip there, you'll see that it's separated. Fold, uh, un not fold and fold, uh, flip the battery over and then clip it. Once it's removed, uh, then you can kind of see that we have some residual leads still left over. Uh, you can see those four laser welds again. So we want to clean this off. Uh, this is a step that I like to take the time to perform. Uh, so we'll use our sharpening pen. So just on like level one, basically, I'm just going to use the edge of the flathead bit. And I'm just going to rub back and forth across these welds. Um, just a quick few passes, uh, and that's going to break down those welds and begin to allow the lead uh, to kind of come off. So you see this is a lot easier to come off than before on our previous video on the 11. So on 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, this is the style that the BMS is, so there is no tab folded over. As I mentioned, the lead is just uh, laser welded directly to the pad on the BMS. So again, just some quick grinds back and forth. That's just going to break down those welds, and then you'll see the residual lead uh, come off. So once it's uh, off and then we have the pad smooth, uh, then that's when we're ready and prep for our spot welding. So like I said, you can already see it begin to break away and remove in this top layer. We'll get it removed and we'll be ready for spot welding. So now that we got everything smooth, we'll go ahead and get our XCAP BMS. Uh, we'll go ahead and remove this protective uh, cover off of our adhesive. Um, this is going to be a little bit different than our previous model on the 11. So the 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, we're going to set the BMS in place directly on the cell. Make sure the BMS flex folds on the outside of the cell. So the flex of the BMS uh, will come all the way around on the outside, not tucked on the inside. So the BMS will just set directly onto the adhesive that's pre-installed there. Once it's uh, tucked up against the cell, uh, we'll begin to kind of fold over the leads here. So this is our modified lead um, with our uh, nickel tab uh, la laser welded on, and then this is our full nickel tab. So you can see the adhesive is on the lead a little bit. This is going to allow it to fold up and adhere to the bottom <coughs> of the BMS. Uh, once it's adhered, you'll just fold over the tab at the 90 degree angle so it makes contact with the pad there on the BMS. Uh, so our modified tab here, we're just bending it over. You'll see there's a little sharp tab here, so I'm just going to use my nail and kind of fold it over to create that 90 degree bend to allow this lead to make contact with the pad. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. You can see here uh, it's just adhered to uh, the bottom of the BMS and then just folds over and makes contact. So now it's prepped and ready for spot welding. We'll just make sure that everything's flush. And we won't use a jig this time, uh, just because of the style uh, of this, we will just have it flat on the table. Using our spot welding pins, as usual, creating our brace point. I'm going to go ahead and create a blowout here. You see the sparks here. That's when you aren't uh, welding properly and you're creating the gap here. So you just want to do light touches, make sure you are making contact uh, with the lead here. Um, but don't pull away too quick. Uh, you can see and watch the glare here uh, adjust when the actual spot welding is done. You can see it move. Um, and then you can see there's a little bit of tension when I begin to move the pin. Uh, so just make sure that you're going uh, in motion and sequence directly beside each other. I just create four to eight welds, depending on how much room I have. So I'm just going back on uh, retouching the welds that I've done before. So one or two touches uh, in four to eight points is going to give you a, a secure connection. <clears throat> so I'm just going to weld beside that blowout and move on to the other lead here. So again, just creating my brace point, and I'm going to start uh, touching on this uh, far side. And then I'll create uh, welds directly below it. And then I'm just going to go in sequence here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just beside each other and below it. I'm just doing my first pass here. Light touches. You don't want to apply any pressure here. It's going to give you some annoyances trying to get a secure connection, just trying to push the pin into the pad. So your light touches here, just going over my second pass. You can see here now that I have eight secure welds. <coughs> So I like to double touch them just to make sure that they are secure. 
I got some extra room over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and tack on two more points, uh, just because I do have the room. I'll double touch those and make sure that they're secure. So I was able to actually uh, get 10 points here on this one. So it's definitely secure. Pull test, uh, you don't want to move on until you can do this pull test and you can see that there's no weak welds and everything is secure. Do that on both leads just to make sure that uh, you have connection um, and no loose leads uh, to the BMS. Uh, it's going to be very important. Now that we have secure connection uh, on each lead and we got our BMS spot welded, uh, we'll begin to just prep our final wrap uh, and get everything ready for install. Thank you again. So this is our protective cover. Uh, we provide these in the X-cap BMS packaging. So we're just going to slip it on over the edge uh, end cap of the BMS here. So it's going to sit in between the OEM flexes. Um, on the front side here, you'll see that it's not going to fit all the way up to the actual cell. There will be a gap. And then we'll apply our wrap here. So we'll take the uh, longer edge of the adhesive and that angled corner uh, we're going to line up uh, with the corner of the battery and then we'll just slide it over uh, just a little bit to give some overhang. So you want the inside corner to line up with the corner of the battery and then slide it over so it hangs over the OEM flex just a little bit and then seal it down. So this is how you want it uh, to be applied and then when you fold the battery up to its edge uh, that will apply the final wrap uh, to the bottom edge and then allow you to pull up on the longer tab uh, to wrap up the back of the battery. And then once that's pulled and sealed, uh, then you can see that we have the tabs on each side that are ready to just fold right over uh, and they're already at the right position. So just fold those straight over the back of the battery and that will finish the final wrap. Uh, so just seal it down and do the same thing to the other side. And once you get both uh, installed, uh, both uh, sealed down, sorry, uh, you're ready to install your tag on. Um, so I'm just going to recap that basically. So the bottom FPC here, uh, we're just going to fold it back over uh, the OEM flex. So it does fold back over itself, but it actually needs to go behind this flex here. So we'll fold it back over itself and just crimp it so it's in place. So now you're ready to slide uh, your tag on flex. Uh, just slip it behind here, align the FPCs, male and female. So I'll just use my tweezers here, slide it down in position, and then just push it in place. So once it's connected, uh, then we'll have uh, everything installed. Now it's in the orientation that the OEM was and it's good for uh, install. You can see the final wrap looks good. This is what goes to the logic board and we'll finish everything up uh, for this episode. Thank you again.